we finally done it. After months of hard work, we've reached 100 subscribers. And to celebrate our great success, I decided it would be a good idea to show every single uh, setup that I own. As well as showcase every single animal too. We have a lot to go over, so let's get started. This is the first tank we'll be going over today. This was also the first aquarium that we built on the channel. It's a 15 gallon cool water aquarium. And it's very heavily planted as you can see. And it's not heated at all. So pretty much the only things that are, uh, the only equipment that we have is the light on top as well as the sponge filter back here, uh, which keeps the tank pretty clean. Uh, inside the tank we have a Nerite snail, uh, he's just temporary, as well as seven white clouds, five cherry barbs, and some quarries, as well as a couple pond snails and Malaysian trumpet snails. Soon the white clouds will be moved outside, but for now they're living inside. This tank is pretty low maintenance because of all the live plants in it, but we have several kinds of plants. We have some Anubias back here, a little bit of Marimo moss, some crypts. These are doing very, very well. A ton of moss that I really, really need to trim back, as well as some Vallisneria. These have been sending off a lot of runners, and I can put them in other fish tanks and other setups that I have. The setup is around six months old, and I've really enjoyed having it. It's a ton of fun to watch, and not very much maintenance. Most of the fish just eat flakes, so I it's mostly just for my own enjoyment as well as for the channel itself. All right. So this is my large Penplax Aquatorarium that I got a couple of years ago. Uh, we've only been showing it on the channel for a couple of months though. This is probably my oldest setup next to my turtle tank. It holds around uh, three gallons of water, I believe. And there is a lid, I just moved it off because it's a lot easier to film. So I do very, very, very little maintenance on this tank because of how heavily planted this is. So, I actually haven't done a water change since I moved here. Uh, I am considering uh, redoing this tank just because uh, of how hard it is to film. Just because of how strange the lighting is. So, let me know if you have any ideas on what we could do in the comment section. I don't really want to spend any more uh, money on this. Just possibly rearranging some of the plants in the tank. Alright, so let's start with the top of the tank. So, on the top part we have several kinds of plants. Most of them are moss. We also have some pothos, a lucky bamboo, sorry the lighting is really weird with this, and a <clears throat> some red and white fagotas. These are doing very well and I really enjoy having them. I also moved some rabbit's foot fern up here, but it's not doing as well, but it might sprout back later. And now for the water area. So in here we have three fish. We have two fancy guppies and a wild betta embellus. Uh, her name is Luna. She's right up at the top of the tank. That, that's another reason I'm considering redoing it. It's really hard to pick her up on camera. There's also a ram's horn snail who keeps the tank pretty algae free. He's right here. He, I actually got him on a plant and he's been growing up a lot in here. I really enjoy ram's horn snails and just all snails in general. There are several kinds of plants in the water area, including some crypts, as you can see, right here, and there's one right here. A little bit of java fern, some moss that needs trimmed back, a moss ball, and I believe a little piece of pennywort and a bit of anubius on that wood. Just because of all the plants in here, it's very low maintenance, and these plants don't really need any fertilizer either. This is all just poop and dirt that I've put underneath the substrate that have helped with uh, giving nutrients to all the plants. But the main star of the tank is Luna, the wild Betta Imbellus. Luna is around a year old and is one of, is actually one of my only uh, fish with a name. She's very friendly and never really bothers the uh, the fancy guppies in the tank. Uh, she mostly eats flakes just like the other fish, and occasionally I give her some pieces of earthworm too. And now for the tank we showed at the beginning of the tank and at the video. I mean, uh, it's also our newest setup that we've built, too. It's 36 gallons and houses several fish, uh, the star of the enclosure being the two white tree frogs. 
This setup is 100% bioactive, so I have to do very little maintenance on it. There's little insects and other uh, tiny little creatures like some roly-polies and springtails that eat most of the frog poop. And now for the water area. So there's six serpe tetras if, living in here currently. Uh, they're doing very, very well. I believe these are red coral ones, and I really enjoy them. This is black water, which is very similar to where they live in the wild. I do enjoy these fish a lot. There's also the star of the water area, who's really not out too often. His name is Spike, and he's a male Bolivian ram, and he is really a cool fish, but he's very camera shy. He's usually out um, a lot, but since I brought the camera out, he's not been, uh, he, he really likes to hide when that comes. He, he's just pretty shy. Uh, the water area is pretty sparsely planted. There's, as for hardscape, there's a ton of rocks, some leaf litter, and a large branch that's kind of hard for the camera to pick up just because of how dark the tank is, but there's some of its branches peeking out of the water. But for plants, there's some elodia, no, not elodia, some hornwort, some pennywort, some crypt, and some valisneria. All the plants are doing pretty well, but uh, most of the planting is done up on the land area. So just, I believe uh, the last video was on these guys, but there are two white tree frogs, and this is their entire home. So there's a ton of vines. All of these are live plants. They're all settling in pretty well. Uh, these, these two still don't have a name. Uh, soon they'll be getting one once I know whether they're boys or girls, but I am very excited for when I do know. If you want to learn more about how I built this uh, setup, please go to the video about them. I believe that was the previous one, and I worked very hard. This setup took me six months to build. Uh, it was probably, and lots of that was just the stand. This, this entire stand was built uh, for the tank. It, it was very fun to build, but very, very difficult and took a long time. So these are the only three setups in my room, at least for large animals. There's some terrariums, but we'll do a whole other video just showing those. Now this is in uh, this is on my back patio, and this is a this is a fan favorite setup. So these hold some tadpoles in them, and this is these are very enjoyable. I'll try to get a tadpole on here, but there's like around 30 of them, and they're very very enjoyable. All right, here's some of them. So. I like having these guys. I've been wanting to raise tadpoles for a while, and we're doing a small mini series on them. And I've been in. Uh, I know everyone's been enjoying watching me grow these guys out, and some people have said that they're hoping to try something like this soon as well. So this holds 10 gallons, and I really don't have to do too much maintenance, just feeding. Uh, the plants do a lot of the cleaning, and soon there's going to be another part of the. Uh, our tadpole series, and we're going to get started on our next two ponds soon as well. So I really have to clean out this pond. This is uh, holds around 15 gallons. There's a ton of dead leaves and other stuff that have fallen in. Uh, but my white cloud mountain minnows will be going out here for the summer, and then I bring them in uh, every winter when it gets too cold. As you can see, these are all run completely off solar power, so it saves a little bit of money. It saves like a dollar a year. <laughs> but it's it's still something, and I do really enjoy all these. But this, I, there's just a ton of... Like dead water wisteria, not water wisteria, water hyacinth and other stuff that just needs to be cleaned out for the white clouds. And now for this pond. So, sorry, this is a total mess as well. This is going to be moving up front, which I'll show later. This has some mosquito fish in here as well as a bullfrog tadpole. Uh, the bullfrog tadpole might be moving out later, but he's nice to have for a while. I found him at my friend's house, so I brought him back for a little. And we'll probably release him there later. I haven't shown him. He's very, very hard to see. And I... I do have to explain something. So we live in uh, in Norfolk, Virginia, so there's a ton of pine trees here. And every spring they send out a lot of pollen. And it gets everywhere, including in my pond. So that that's what all the yellow stuff everywhere. That that's what it all is for. That's what it all is. It's it's kinda messy, but I just have to move this uh, somewhere else. But this is this is gonna be I'm going to show you guys where it's going to be moved. Alright, so this is my uh, front yard, and this is where the big 35-gallon pond that I just showed earlier is going to be moved up here. We just have to add some plants in. We're 
soon, uh, probably next week, we're going to go to Home Depot and buy a ton of cool new plants uh, to add up here. So expect a video on this. We're thinking about doing some goldfish. It's going to be in a very early Mother's Day present for my mom, and she's excited about it too. And now this is our Pomeranian. He wanted to say hi real quick. So this is Murphy. He's he's getting kind of old, but he likes to sit among all the blankets. He just got his hair cut, and we'll probably do a video just about him again. We did one a couple months ago, just doing a checkup on him. He's been having a couple health problems, but he is doing a lot better. And this is my brother's 20-gallon uh, high tank that we set up for him on his birthday. So it's not exactly my style of aquariums, but he really likes it. Some of the tetras died off, but most of the fish have been doing pretty well. Uh, we also got some endlers, and my brother has really been loving them. They had a ton of babies. There's like 30 of them in the tank. And there's Gus. That's his favorite. Gus is... I don't like him as much as Luna, but he is a very fun fish. And my brother enjoys him a lot, too. And my personal favorite fish in the tank is Sucket. Sucket is a pleco, and uh, she, we figured out it's a she. Uh, she's been doing very well. Keeps the tank pretty low on algae. Um, and there's also this one piece of Vallisneria that's doing fine, but everyone here is doing pretty good. The tank is, it's a little bit messy. There's some dead duckweed and stuff, but it, he does have a pretty good bit of duckweed growing in his tank. Uh, usually it doesn't, lots of the time what we do is take a little, uh, cup full of it and go feed it to Bubbles. Okay, now for my sister's, uh, bed of tank. So this has been set up, she got this for Christmas. And we are really considering redoing. It's just very, very tanned. It looks it looks better on camera, but in person, it's it's a lot darker. But we are considering just heavily planting this and doing a different kind of setup. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. All the fish are doing very well. There's Athena up here. There's all the zebra danios. We're doing very well too. The snail in my 15 gallon comes from here. I just had a little bit of a algae problem, so it uh, it's in my tank for a little bit. Originally, this is really its home. We don't really know what it is, but this tank grows duckweed like crazy. If we take up about that much of the tank, it's gone and like it regrows in a couple days. Uh, I think that well, bubbles will just eat it all, so that is pretty good. But she really does does love Athena. Athena is just a female betta. There's also a couple Cory uh, catfish in here. I just don't see them right now. The tank is very, very tannined. So, probably they're just hiding right now. If my camera will only focus, let's see if they're here. No, it doesn't look like anyone's here. Alright, so this is Bubbles' tank. She's doing pretty well. She's a red-eared slider. She's going to be turning 10 this year, so maybe we'll do something fun for that. Uh, there's her basking setup. She She's doing very well. We feed her a lot of worms. She's been in a lot of videos. And my most viewed video is up to 2,000 views, which is uh, me walking her. We're probably going to do something about that this spring. Uh, mostly just water changes on here. I wish if Bubbles could actually live with plants, that would be really nice. But, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm really glad we reached 100 subscribers. That was our goal for this year, and we already beat it. So, hopefully we can reach 200 soon. Also, if you know anyone who'd be interested in this, please share it with them, and I hope to see everyone all in the next one. Goodbye.